While the developer not yet ready to speak about this project, he along with uh, carry officials say we are just now in the beginning stages of this proposal. However, residents here have high hopes for this project. If you get people living close to where your business is, that's always good. Rob Schutzbach opened Artist and Hair in West Cary six years ago. Business has been great, but he thinks it could be even better if land across Highway 55 is developed into a mixed-use space. I think it's kind of everywhere, really. Um, but yeah, it's definitely this side. I think 540 and 40, you know, being right here is, is a huge advantage. Um, you know, obviously gives you access to everything. So. Yeah, it's been good. We're excited about it. A developer is looking to build 200,000 square feet of office space, 25,000 square feet of retail, and a car wash with a dozen fueling stations. A resident thinks the project could help with Cary's growing population, especially since the proposal includes up to 625 multifamily housing units. The amount of people coming to this area, there's not enough housing for anybody. So obviously density is what is a priority. The Wake County Economic Development Office notes that Cary is North Carolina's seventh most populated city, the second biggest in Wake, and it's density 10 times the state's average. Lindsay Pan is one of Carrie's newer residents. She moved here a year ago from Ohio and loves the open space. So do you kind of like it the way it is? You don't want to see anything more? Right. I, I, I think it's very nice. I think there's like already a lot of like different apartment complexes. I also spoke with Carrie's mayor today and he says we are a long ways out before the council decides if this proposal meets community needs. Before that, there will have to be a neighborhood meeting followed by a public hearing. We're live in Carrie, Elena Athens, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.